Welcome to Martini Time. Beautiful day here in Blackstone, the center of the world. But then you too are the center of the world. So here's our, my opening mantra. May we be awake and aware. And may this talk guide you to your essential inner peace. Or your essential ground of being, which is basic goodness. Okay. The title of this talk is Bypass the Dysfunction. By, that's rule number one. Okay? Second rule is have a martini. <laughs> so, hold up here. Rule number one, bypass the dysfunction. Now, I got inspired by this, by today's uh, news, that Alexandria... Uh, Cortez, I forgot her middle name, uh, defeated a uh, very powerful uh, Democrat in uh, Queens, Bronx, Queens, uh, for the uh, uh, in the primary, and she and everybody said, "How do you do it? Fifty-seven to forty-two points, I think. How did she defeat a twenty-year incumbent who was scheduled to become?" Uh, Speaker of the House, if the Democrats won the Congress. So how did, she's 28 years old. How did she do it? Everybody's asking her. She's on MSNBC this morning uh, telling people how they answer that question. Well, first of all, she didn't mention Trump. <laughs> she's po she had a positive, uh, uh, positive issues that were pointed towards unity, solving problems, and unifying the people, instead of talking about Trump and disunifying the people. So she bypassed the dysfunction. So let's look at what dysfunction is. Dysfunction is conflict. Dysfunction is division. Anytime you find yourself dividing arguing, uh, you know, it's like uh, uh, taking a uh, uh, stick and you keep dividing the stick to get to the whole stick, but you keep dividing the stick, so you divide it into half, then I got to get to the whole stick, so you divide that, and so you divide that, so you divide that until you get down to... Uh, Nothing. You never get to the one. You never get to the one, you see, because you're going in the wrong direction. So we all want to get to the one that has no second. Put it in a religious term, we want to get to God, the one that has no second. So that's life. All, all of life is going towards the one, unifying. Evolution is unification. It's a balancing towards unity between the species and the environment. So there is one organism, one system, environment, and species all working as one. That's an organism. It's just like your body is a one organism, and all the parts are working. So all the parts have to work in order to get to the one. But what we do, and what Trumpism is, but what dysfunction is, let's not say Trump, what dysfunction is, is that it tries to get to the one by dividing it. And then you have to divide that, and then you divide that, and then you divide that, because you're going into a vortex. Wah, 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 wah. Instead of going towards the one by unifying the parts, you're, you believe you're going to the one by dividing the parts. So it's a misdirection. The intention is good. The intention is true. I want to get to the one that has no second. I want to get to the one that's not divided. I want to restore America. I want to get to the one me. I want to get to a me that's not divided. I want to have peace. That's what peace is, no division. So I want to get to peace. I want to get to wholeness. I want to get to rest. I want to get to my essential nature, you see. But we're going in the wrong direction. We think we have to get there with a scalpel. 
I want to know what a frog is, so I'm going to take it and divide it up into pieces. I'll know all the pieces, but I've lost the whole frog. I won't know what a frog is until I put it in a pond. And then I see the frog in relationship to the pond. So there is no so the frog and the pond are one organism. And then the pond and the the whole environment, and then the pond and the earth, you see, and then the earth and the stars. So wholeness keeps expanding. But our scientific method, our analytical method, which makes great machines, when it tries to understand life, goes in the analytical direction, which is division, which is trying to understand the whole by the parts. Or like science used to, science used to do, you know, that they, you know, that everything is made up, they believe, of atoms, you know. Well, atoms, I remember, you know, atoms couldn't be divided. They thought that was the indivisible thing. But then they found out you can divide an atom and then a whole new universe opened up and that opened up quantum. But let's get back to bypassing the dysfunction before I become dysfunctional. <laughs> so how do we know when we're bypassing the... Why, how do we know when we're dysfunctional? Well, obviously all of you are on Facebook and that is the place where you practice bypassing the dysfunction. So you put a you put a uh, post up there, and you think it's got insight. You put a comment, you think it's got some unifying insight. You got, think it's got some universal potential, and somebody comes in and says, uh, "No, you're wrong. You're an idiot. You're wrong. No." Well, that's the first poop you see. That right there. You thought you had a whole idea. They come along. No, you're wrong. Now you've got a morality play. Now you're wrong and they're right. Oh, and you want to get in there and fix that. Oh, it's like gravity. What do you mean I'm wrong? You're this, this. And you, and you defend your position. And they say you're still wrong. And you defend it again. And they say you're still wrong. And you defend it again. And then they start saying you're stupid. Then you defend it again. And then you get your stupid, stupid. <laughs> and you can feel the energy coming up the energy of that's unjust I'm not stupid you see, <laughs> I've got to restore unity I've got to restore myself he's just cut me in half I have to restore myself how am I going to do that I'm going to kill him <laughs> you see so I'm going to restore myself by proving him wrong and he's going to he's already lost himself so he's going to restore himself by proving you wrong and these will go on for days i'll put a post up and i'll come back the next day they're still going it's like a thread with one knot after the other every comment is a knot you see it's dysfunctional dysfunctional is division with no end division with no end so don't engage it because you can't win if you engage dysfunction you become dysfunctional if you if you uh, if you argue with dysfunction you become dysfunctional and what wins dysfunction wins <laughs> you see so the the rule is and it's very difficult not to engage dysfunction because our instincts want because we feel wounded I mean, we want to we want to restore well-being we want to prove the other person we want to save the other person they're obviously deluded or maybe they're they're in control of satan i want to save them i want to convert them to wholeness See, religion gets into this game sin is a division sin is dysfunctional as soon as you see sin in another person and it's good you don't have any sin and they got it that's dysfunctional now you got to save them from their sin and they see you as being sinful <laughs> because you don't recognize their wholeness you see anyway you see what i mean it's all on facebook it's a great place to play it's a great place to practice bypass the dysfunction so how do you bypass the dysfunction? Say, take Facebook, since we're all on Facebook. And I play here. This is my sandbox. 
sand book full of words. I play with words. That's my sand, my word box. Facebook is my word box. And I play with words. It's creative. Play is creative. I enjoy it. I learn things. I inform myself. But I only inform myself when I bypass the dysfunction. Because that's creative. You see, that's why we very few people bypass the dysfunction. Because you have to be creative if you do that. In other words, if you bypass the division, the impulse, the gravity pull towards division and conflict, if you bypass that, most people think, well, I'll just defriend them. Or I'll just say, I'm, I'm out of here and go somewhere else, which is fine. Mm, that's a very good way to bypass the dysfunction. Excuse me, just don't engage it. But it's not creative. So if you want a creative bypass, then you have to see creatively another way of looking at the situation that is dysfunctional that will expand understanding of how you're dysfunctional or it expands oh, has a different way of looking at the situation now most of the time the dysfunctional per the other person won't see that and they still say you're wrong so no matter what you come up with you're wrong because they are have a compulsive need to be right so if you have a compulsive need to be right or righteous you're going to have to go find somebody that you can make wrong and persist. <laughs> you can't say, you're right, I, I lose. No, you can't. They're not going to do that. So anyway, it's a game. So yeah, first of all, you have to realize it's play. And second, oh, did I mention the uh, Alexander uh, Cortez, the, the uh, woman that bypassed the dysfunction? Well, she's really mapping out a way for the Democratic Party to handle the upcoming elections. Don't engage Trump. Bypass Trump and just focus on a unifying message that solves problems instead of creating dysfunction. Her name is Alexander Cortez. Now that's a great name. Alexander the Great and a conqueror. He made the known world one. And Cortez, a conqueror. You could call him something else, but anyway, <laughs> good names. So anyway, the rule that I want to share with you is bypass the dysfunction. This is a spiritual practice. You see, spirituality is taking the laws that we see externally and applying them internally. Take seeing, seeing the laws of life externally and applying them internally to my own mind. So when I get in a worry loop, that's dysfunctional. So how do I bypass worry? Is the same way of bypassing uh, argument with, a, with, uh, with somebody on Facebook. That's worry. I'm worried, you see. I'm fearful. I can't get this guy to understand me, you see. So all that conflict that anger, the, the fear of losing, of, of, of being, you know, whatever, all of that, that conflict is driven, you see, is dysfunctional. It's based in fear. Worry is based in fear. So we can see dysfunction in our own thinking when you're going in a, in a, uh, a feedback loop. A monologue is going on. You know, we all get inflicted with one, a monologue, when we don't complete some action, we have some leftovers, and we have a monologue going, oh, well, I should have said this, or if I, if I say that, well, next time if I do this, or I should have, did oh, I feel so bad, I should have said this, why didn't I say that, you see? And the monologue goes, whoa, 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 like that. And then we have to uh, have a martini to forget it. <laughs> you see? So that's dysfunction. So then meditation or you know, mindfulness, all of these spiritual practices are basically bypassing the dysfunction of the mind. You go to your breath. People go jogging, that bypasses the dysfunction. Get drunk, that, these are bypasses that <laughs> have side effects. 
they're not really spiritual bypasses. So, uh, been spiritual, don't even, that word, you know, doesn't mean anything anymore. So, we're looking at bypassing the dysfunction, whether it's external or internal. So, anyway, thanks for dropping in. So, remember, bypass the dysfunction. <laughs>